Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have me, the Rhino. I'm drinking this beer. Um, I had two bottles of this beer. One was brought over by by Duchette, and one was brought over by by Sensodyne via um, via Colgate. So, which person's bottle this is? I don't know. Um, this is a beer that I've had the barrel age version of. I never had the original. And I've tried to get the original many, many times, and it's just never, uh, never happened where I was able to get a hold of it. So this is from the Black Oak Brewing Company in Etobicoke, Ontario. Even though it says Toronto, Ontario, because Etobicoke is part of the GTA. I'm just, I'm just being a dick. Uh, this is the Black Oak Nutcracker Porter. So Nutcracker Porter is 5.8% alcohol by volume. It's sold in the 650. What does what does Ken say about this? Our spiced seasonal porter, perfectly balanced roasty malts with subtle hop delivers a festive character and flavor. Dark ebony color, enticing malty aroma with hints of figgy pudding, mild carbonation, lead to distinctive taste in a full-bodied beer. Cheers, Ken. Original gravity 14.1 Play-Doh. Oh, let's try the Black Oak beer. Well, the Black Oak beer, the Black Oak Nutcracker Porter. Uh, and we are pouring the Black Oak Nutcracker Porter into Young, well, yeah, Young's Double Chocolate Stout Glass. Which is made for huge head from a nitro beer, basically. It's, it's made for the nitrogen pour. That looks beautiful. It is jet black. It is, the head is a beautiful, beautiful brownish color. It mixes in with that golden rim so nicely. It's a beautiful looking beer. Smell? Mmm. Oh man. Now, I had the barrel aged version of this and I didn't like the barrel aged version. Uh, it was. It was too smoky. The barrel, the barrel just took the beer, and all you got, all I got, and all a few of the reviewers were able to get was just smokiness, burnt. It was like a railway tie in your mouth. So I'm curious about this. You're not smelling any of that though, which you shouldn't because it's not barrel aged. But beautiful, beautiful chocolatey caramel scent. Mm, with just a slight touch of cinnamon. No figgy pudding on the nose, nothing like that. Cinnamon, chocolate, and caramel. Smells amazing. Let's just dig into the beer, right? Let's dig in. Cheers, boys and girls. Ooh. He is right. That is very low carbonation. A lot lower than I was expecting. Um, full bodied. It's it's a full body beer in the in the aspect that it's very complex, but I'd say it's about a medium body beer for mouthfeel. Oh. Just a beautiful standard porter. That's what this is, a beautiful standard porter. You're not getting you're not getting oh my god flavors in this, but there's all there. Again, caramel, some molasses, some uh A lot of chocolate, a slight little roast. It talks about a distinctive hop characteristic, or is it subtle hop characteristic that he says? Just um, subtle hop delivery. Yeah. See, it says subtle hop, and I wouldn't even say it's a subtle hop. There's almost no hop at all. The bitterness that I'm getting is coming mostly from the from the roastiness and from the chocolate and caramel. A tiny touch of cinnamon on the flavor, tiny touch, it's giving it a little bit of a sandy texture, which is fine. Um, 
Remind me of figgy pudding? No, it kind of reminds me of like a dark chocolate pudding. Nice dark chocolate pudding. That's what it's reminding me of. I'm actually really impressed with this. I really like this. Uh, not the greatest porter in the world, but a very standard, easy drinking, drink it any day of the week, drink multiple bottles of it porter. You know what? I have to, I have to say, easily approachable porter. I think anyone could drink this porter. I think if you're not a big dark beer fan, you could still drink this porter. I might be wrong, you might not like it, but I, it's, it's not so roasty that it would scare you away. It's not so chocolatey that it might make you think that you're eating a chocolate bar. It's, it's not so heavy that it'll fill up your gut. It's an easy drinking chocolate beer. And with that said, I have to give this an 8.5. I, I really do like it. I actually didn't expect to like it as much as I did. So an 8.5 on this, just so easy drinking, it's not even funny. This was the Black Oak Nutcracker Porter. And uh, we have about half a bottle left. Guess we gotta get rid of that, eh? <coughs> there we go, make some room. Let's go. Bye.